I'm Diana. Thanks so much for being here. In this video, instead of doing a project, I wanted to introduce you to this new software that's been around uh, for a very short time, but started starting to make waves in the book folding community. It's called Wonderfold, and I've had a chance to explore it. I haven't actually folded a pattern from making a pattern with this software, but let me tell you, this is going to be a game changer. It really is super easy to understand. Um, it is, as it says at, on their website, book folding for everyone. Up to now, I have been using Bukami, which is a, has been doing great for me. I've been using it for the past three years, and I've explored a couple of other um, softwares out there in terms of making patterns. But um, with Bukami, it was just a Windows-based software. Um, oftentimes hard to get a response from them. With this, it's web-based, so you can use it on your um, Windows computer, on your Mac, tablet, iPad, whatever you choose. So I really, really love that because I hated to have to keep going back to from forth to Windows to just print something out on Bukami. So now I can just whip out a pattern in no time. A little bit about this, you can um, sign up for the account. It does have a couple of different pricing structures. You can get it on the lower level. It's a yearly subscription and you can print patterns, but you can't share them or sell them. And then they have the higher cost one, which even the higher one is totally affordable and a good deal where you can actually sell the patterns. Once you subscribe to it, if you go to the dashboard, it's so self-explanatory, it's, it's crazy. So I do a new pattern and you choose the image going to be your first step. And what I've done here, I downloaded a couple of um, pictures with gnomes. Easter's coming up soon. Thought this would be a good one to kind of play around with to show you. I like to use Creative Fabrica to get my images from. And if you don't have a subscription, I have a link below both to this particular pattern or this particular image. So you can go there, or if you wanna sign up and have a membership at Creative Fabrica, that's a great place to get all the images you ever need. And that's, then just run them through here uh, and you can make tons of patterns. So I will choose this one. And as you can see, it uploaded it right here. Now you can specify your first and last page. So let's for, I'm not going to have this folded. I'm just showing you the software. Let's just say it's gonna have 335 pages and the book height is in centimeters. You have the option of doing it in inches if you prefer. And then you can choose here the type of pattern you would like, what kind of cut and fold. Now measure, mark and fold works best for silhouettes. And if you're new to my channel, I do have a ton of videos on various techniques for the book folding. In my vi previous videos, I've referred to like an any and an Audi. Here, the inverted is the any, what you see it referred to as on other sites or you know on other programs. Embossed is the Audi part. I do prefer this terminology. Combi fold is your usual top and bottom and then cutting and folding in between shadow fold, and then an advanced mode. If you get the higher version, you have this two-tone shadow uh, inverted mold. So it's gonna be an any and a shadow combined. All right, so I'll stick with this one just so you can kind of see how it comes up. So we'll generate the image and it just popped it up. There it is. Now, as you can see here, it's saying that this, I don't have much room. There's probably like a millimeter uh, for me to be able to cut this right here up to the top of the page. So I'm going to click on more options and if you can adjust this before I used to have to go into Inkscape, mess around with the image to shrink it a little bit so that the black isn't right at the top of the page or at the bottom of the page. So it just took a lot more work. Here, it, you just pop in the picture and then adjust the spacing to make it work. So as you can see, you can make it larger, which is gonna be an issue because you're cutting into the top or the bottom of the page. But if you notice right here, I'm right here, 
the message in red is here that it's too close. I'm just going to slide this over a little bit and it disappears. So now I have enough clearance at the top and at the bottom so that I can cut this image out. Um, if you want to make it, you know, more dark, depending on this works more for your photo type of um, images. If you're putting in a photo that has a lot of shadows, you can mess around with this slide here. But this I'm just going to leave where it is. And then here's another feature that is pretty cool. With Bukami, your accuracy is down to one millimeter. And if you're using an Inkra ruler, you'll see the one millimeter marks. Here you can go to 0 0.5 millimeters. And if you're brave and have a super special ruler, you can go to 0.1 millimeter which is like a hair. <laughs> so you can um, be spe specify how much of a preci how precise you want this um, image to be cut. We can leave it at 0 0.5 millimeters for now. And then if you end up getting duplicate marks in some patterns, you'll see that you'll see the same marking in a row twice. You can have this adjusted you know, it'll go up by one millimeter or by half a millimeter to make up for it so that it's not two numbers next to each other. Now the other up here, the rest of this um, windows area is your page. So you can see the page number you're on and you can see this bar moving along as you're doing the pages. So right at the beginning here, you're only going to make on this page here, you're only gonna make two cuts. The next page, you've got four because you got a little spacing. You can scroll with this or you can just take the bar and slide it over or just click on the image and it jumps to that area. And you can see what the cuts are on that page. I love this fact, you know, being able to see this and then you can scroll to the page that you're looking for. This is in a table format. Now, the other amazing feature with this is that you actually don't even need to print this out. You could use this directly with an iPad. So you can use your iPad as the ruler. I may do another video. I know Brian, the creator of the software has a video out there for using your iPad as the ruler. So you can put the page on the iPad and then just mark it exactly where it is. That means you have this ruler right here. You're gonna put your page on top of it and then you're just gonna take a pencil and mark these places. So you don't even have to think about it. Just draw a little line right where the orange part is. No need to try and figure out where the 14.25 is or anything like that. Um, and when you look in the um, table format, you'll see here, usually it's like 3.7, 6.9, etc., 11, 12.2, you know, something like that. But because this is a precision of 0.5 millimeters, you'll see this going out to two decimal points. So with the table format, let's say this is, I'm happy with the way this is. I'm just gonna hit print, export. And when it, you do that, you can see the information down here. This is going to require 3,220 cuts and folds. And then, this is what you usually see on your um, when you print out a pattern. The pages one through five have no marks, and then seven you have you know the marks this way. Now, if I change this to a shadow fold, it's gonna skip, for example. So you can change your mind midstream. You know, if you want to do this as a shadow fold after you see what it looks like, then you can change it there as opposed to having to go all the way back to the beginning and starting over. You can just change the format of your folding and you can see that it skips every other page. So I'll keep this one with the inverted and you can see all the markings on here. I'm gonna export the pattern and then just print it. So when you can do a preview just so you see what it looks like, there we go. You know, I would obviously add this in here with Crafted Sweetly for mine. I just haven't gotten around to it. I was too excited about this software and I wanted to share it with you. So I haven't quite uh, 
added all this information in here. If you see a row like this, I've seen this being asked sometimes is why are the numbers, do the numbers keep going and what are you supposed to do with the next row? It's actually still page 63. It's just there are so many cuts on this particular page that they didn't all fit on the same row. Now, another nice feature that the software does is that if you're, I lost that one because I backed out and I didn't save it. So you can save the pattern. Oops, let's just generate here. You're going to, you can save this pattern obviously right here, save the pattern, and then you just have it in your files. One nice thing that I started to mention is that, let's say, you know how sometimes books have page one through 330, but then actually before page one, you may have another five leading pages with the preface or some introductions that aren't actually part of the numbered pages of the book. You can put in here, instead of one, you can say that the book starts on page minus five, and it will adjust the pattern accordingly. So when you look at this right here, no marks on a couple of the pages, and then you start on the page that you're supposed to with it. You can take this. Another thing I was going to show you is more options. Whoops, shrink it. Now you can make this much smaller if you'd like. So then you're basically skipping. You would have all this area that would be small up here. Obviously your cut are going to be more condensed but that's that is an option if you choose to do that i usually like to make the image as large as possible this is a great program and i know um, that brian continues to update and add features to it so if you're interested in it by all means subscribe you'll constantly have the latest version of the software I'm excited to start using this because I'm going to use the Mac instead of having to go back and forth to the windows to, to my laptop to create patterns in Bukami and then send them back to my Mac to print and all that. Again, super excited to share this with you. If you have any questions, um, please comment below. I'll share the this particular image, the link to this image in um, right down below in the description box, and I will print a pattern or create a pattern for this and then post it in my Facebook group, Crafted Sweetly. So you can join the group and grab the pattern there if you like this particular design. Thanks so much for watching and I hope uh, you'll start using this as well because it's going to be a game changer in, in the going forward. Thanks so much and see you in the next project.